Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and get settled in. We're going to do a little manifestation tree work today for the new moon energy. Welcome, 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 welcome. Please join us and please share with others who might benefit from joining our community and also benefit from this uh, amazing experience that you're about to um, experience. So come on in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cleansing and clearing all negative energies in this space. Cleansing and clearing, cleansing and clearing. So thank you for joining me today. Come on in and get comfortable. I will be your guide through this journey of um, a little manifestation here today. I will be your guide. I will talk you through the whole process. So just get comfortable wherever you are. All right. Hi, Hermelinda. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Welcome, 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 everybody. Cleansing and clearing, cleansing and clearing. The lighting is quite odd right where I'm at, and I have these weird light spots on me. I don't know where it's coming from, um, but that's all right. It's different, right? Different, different. So... Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me today. Today we are doing a little manifestation. I'm going to light this a little bit better. Uh, I will switch the view here in just a moment. I will talk you through everything. So just listen and follow along. And um, I will prompt you of what to think about. And uh, there we go. Okay. And just uh, follow along with this uh, manifestation tree. Hi, Renee. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining. Please share this with others so they might find our community and join along as well. Hi, Tammy. Welcome. All right. So I'm going to switch the camera view here in just a moment. I am outside. That means we can hear outside noises that might be a little distracting at times. That's okay. We also have very magical moments out here at times. So, uh, so that works well, too. So I'm going to switch the view here in just a moment. I have some bamboo out here, lucky bamboo, to help us with our manifestation. A beautiful clear quartz, with just it's just brilliant, and some green aventurine and pyrite, both very powerful manifestor, uh, manifestation crystals. And the, the clear quartz is very positive and amplifies that energy. So how is everybody today? I hope you are doing well. And uh, get settled in, and we will begin here in just a second. I'm going to switch the view here for you. Um, so I'm going to switch the view so you can see the little setup. And I'm just going to talk you through, through this. You can keep your eyes open and watch the, you know, the, just see the little altar. Or you can close your eyes, whatever's comfortable for you. So whatever you feel like, whatever you feel is comfortable for you is the best way to go about it. Okay? All right, so... Um, let me switch the camera view here, and let's see where that, that is, and then I will get started. All right. There we go. Okay, I'm going to drop this down just a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. If I can do this without too much problem. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. Welcome, welcome. Come on in, everyone. Come on in. We're going to do some uh, manifestation tree today. So um, I don't do this particular variation very often, but I like to switch things up, as you know. So um, hi, Renee and Hannah. Welcome. Cynthia, Cindy, thank you for joining. Please share this with others to help um, find our community and also to join in with this, too, this experience. So... I've got the green adventuring pyrite and this amazing clear quartz point here. All right, we're going to plant a manifestation tree, and that is symbolic of positive energy and growth. So it's there's symbolism to that. All right, so um, all these little processes that I'm going to take you through this fun little journey are all symbolic of you finding what you want, planting the seeds of manifestation letting it grow, cultivating that, and expanding what you want, okay? So, <clears throat> let's get started here. Just get comfortable wherever you are. Just settle in, 
I'll clear the energy with a few bit with a few rings of the bell. Okay, we are going to plant our manifestation tree. This manifestation tree is symbolic of positive energy and growth. This will provide positive energy to put you in alignment with your higher self in order to manifest what you wish for. If you feel like closing your eyes, please do so now, or you can just look at the little altar there I set up up to you. Take a nice deep healing cleansing breath in. Exhale all your stress and worry of the day. Take another nice deep healing cleansing breath in. Exhale any tension you might be holding on to. Take another nice, deep, healing, cleansing breath in. And just release all negative energy that might be surrounding you at this time. And let it go. And just let your breathing go nice and steady, easy. Let me be your guide for this journey. Visualize yourself in your mind. First, we are going to start off by visiting a nursery, a tree nursery, where there's hundreds of variations of trees lined up in rows. We get to the nursery and you see a multitude of trees all shapes and sizes. Some are tall, some are short. Some flowers, some have flowers and some don't. Some have fruit and some just have leaves. So I want you to take a moment and walk down the aisles and see what tree stands out to you. Which one is meant for you? Which one is your tree? Take a moment to do this. All of these trees are grown with such great care and love that they are waiting for you to take one home to be planted. So go down each row and select the tree that stands out to you. Notice the color of the leaves of the one that you select or the colors of flower or the type of fruit if it has those. Take in all the details of your tree that you have lovingly selected. Touch it. Touch the leaves and the branches. Connect with it. You are now connected. This is your tree. Now it is time to return back to your home and plant your tree. Visualize yourself taking your tree home with ease. And think about a place where you want to plant your tree. It could be in your yard. It could be in a nearby area. It could be in nature. Wherever it is that you select, it's up to you. Wherever you want to plant your tree, think about that place. 
Nobody else will have access to your tree because this is your tree. So wherever you plant it is okay. Feel yourself getting excited having selected this beautiful tree and now you're going to plant it and take care of it so you can grow with it. Your positive energy will grow with it. So now that you're in this place, wherever that you are going to plant it, you will need to gather the tools to plant your, your tree. Select either a shovel or something to dig the hole. You're going to need some water, maybe some fertilizer, whatever those things are. Gather all the tools, maybe some gloves. Gather all the tools that you will need to plant your tree in the space that you chose. Once you've decided where you will plant your tree and you have all the items that you need, go to that space and start digging the hole where you're going to plant the tree. Sometimes we have to put in a little effort of our own. But the benefits are well worth it. Do this process with a loving, grateful heart as you dig the hole big enough for your tree roots to become well established in Mother Earth. Take great care in all these processes. Carefully set the tree in the hole that you dug and cover the roots. If you had fertilizer, put that in where it's needed and water the tree and give thanks for its presence in your life with a grateful heart. Give this tree the love and kindness that it deserves. This is your manifestation tree. Visit this tree often and as needed and care for it as needed. The more love and kindness and gratitude that you give to it, the more it will return much more for you. Again, connect with this tree. Touch it and feel it. The branches, the trunk, the leaves. If it has flowers, really be appreciative to all that is given. <clears throat> now that you've planted your tree, visualize yourself sitting beside it and take a nice deep breath in. And exhale that beautiful energy that surrounds you from that tree. Feel that beautiful energy that surrounds you from what that tree has provided for you. Appreciate all its glorious beauty and feel the beautiful energy that it provides you. Feel the security that it provides you. This tree will provide such beautiful energy to you to increase the flow of positive energy around you. Now, as you're sitting there with your tree, think of something that you want to manifest. What is something that you want? It can be anything, anything at all, something physical, a new home, a new car, a new item, an object of some sort. It can be travel, it can be a healthy body, it can be a relationship, whatever it is that you want to manifest. 
think of a specific thing other than money because money will come. The universe will provide the assistance in remarkable ways. So think about what it is that you want and don't worry about how you will get it. Take a moment to really think about that and be very focused with what you want. Feel the beautiful energy surrounding you that this tree provides. Let a smile appear on your face as you do so. Now that you know what it is you want, send your wish and request up to the universe while you're sitting by your manifestation tree and do so with a grateful heart. Say, I wish to manifest and fill in the blanks. Give it to your higher power, God, creator, universe, the higher power of your understanding, whoever that might be. And see your wishes float up your higher power receiving your request. Give thanks for the universal energy that has heard your wish and give thanks to your manifestation tree who has brought you very positive energy to continue to help you stay balanced with positive energy. Send love and kindness to your tree and often. Send love and kindness to your wishes and to yourself as well. Send love and kindness to everyone else's wishes who are here and who will watch later because that amplifies the energies tremendously. Take a moment to feel how wonderful this feels, this experience. This tree has provided such positive, amazing energy. This is your tree. Every time you wish for something, go to this sacred special place and visit your tree to help you find that positive energy that it provides you. Continue to give it love and kindness and spend time with it and see it blooming and blossoming and growing. That is symbolic of your wishes coming true. The more that you send it love, the more, you, the more it will provide growth for you. Be open to receiving what you've wished for. Let the positive energy flow to you. This is your sacred manifestation tree. Revisit it often and continue to send it love so it can continue to grow. Even if you need to spend some quiet, reflective time, you can come back to this space. Now it's time to come back to reality. But when you see a similar tree maybe in your own yard, maybe somewhere else, it will remind you of the positive energy flow that surrounds you so you can continue your manifestation processes. 
This tree is a reminder that you are always abundant. Take a nice, deep, healing, cleansing breath in. Exhale. And please share with us, if you would, how you're feeling. Please share with us what kind of tree that you selected and planted. So we can... Um, Share with each other how you're doing. How are you feeling? How are you doing? If you came in later, please watch the replay to get the full effect. And please share this with others to join in. I'm going to switch back here. So how's everybody doing? Cherry Blossom, that's nice. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. If you just came in, please um, watch the replay and uh, so you get the whole benefit of the, um, the uh, little mini meditation that we did. So watch the replay, please share with others. I do appreciate that. Renee, you're crying. You're welcome, Mary. <clears throat> so, I also have a new book out, Manifestation Using Crystals, which is very powerful for your manifestation practices. You can visit your manifestation tree. There's a lot of symbolism in that. But you can also take manifestation in your own hands and control what you want to do with your life. My book is now available on Amazon, so check it out. And um, it's, it gets in detail with clearing out the negative, because we need to do that. Bringing in the positive, focusing clearly, so you can manifest whatever it is that you want to. And there's also a component in here to um, help you create your own abundance grid. So you can manifest your wishes, but also create abundance at the same time. So how is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Let's see here. Oh, you are welcome. You are welcome. Miss most of it, Mary. Watch the replay. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Cynthia, beautiful and peaceful birch tree. Lovely. Renee had a beautiful tree with light and dark pink flowers. Mmm. Susie had a navel orange tree. Oh, my goodness. Then it turned into a mushroom-type tree, like the shape of it, Renee. Kind of a shape of a... Kind of watching over you, kind of. I see that as a symbolism as well. I see every little component of your trees being very symbolic of what you need. Um, the shape of the tree, really think about it in a symbolic way. If it had fruit, like the orange tree, bringing energy, vitality, nutrients to yourself while you manifest energy, you know, um, if you had flowers, maybe a certain color stood out to you. Um, maybe you need that within your life right now. Every little piece of this tree can be very symbolic. So pay attention to your tree. And I suggest actually, if you have a moment after this broadcast, go write down the details of your tree on a little card and keep it with you to remind you of all the things that it means for you. So take the time to do that. Yeah. Oh, cherry blossom tree. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Um, it is in e form also, Tammy. Yes, it's uh, in Kindle version, Apple's, Barnes and Noble's. Uh, what is that one? Um, Nook. Um, all the different e form books. Uh, it is available in that. Paperback version is available in Amazon. So, yes, check it out. Um, I have some exercises in there for you to do for each phase of the process. I have a list of crystals for you to work with because crystal energy amplifies each phase of the process. Uh, all of the crystals mentioned are typically, from what I, have, what I have found to be true, easily obtainable and rather inexpensive in the small tumbled form, and that's all you need, the small tumbles. Um, your altar, your, I mean, your um, 
abundant grid, which I provide uh, explanation for in here, how to do one, uh, is a few extra crystals like a crystal point, but you don't have to get elaborate. You can be very simple and have tremendous results. I have an example of what my abundance grid looks like in here, if I can find it real quick. It's very simple. I've used the same one for many years. I've changed it a little bit, changed the stones in the, um, <clears throat> in the order that they are and changed the center stone, but it is a very simple grid, but it is very, very effective, and it has been so since I began. Uh, and it continues to provide abundance. Uh, I feel the energy, I shouldn't say it continues. The energy continues to amplify that, so abundance continues to flow to me. That's a better way to say it. So, yeah, step by step in here. Check it out, Amazon, uh, or your other outlets. But revisit this little video, too. If you need a little boost, um, if you need a little boost of, you know, help with your own manifestation practices, visit your tree. Remember your tree. It's your tree. Carry it in your mind with you wherever you go. Oh, good, Renee. You just finished last night. I can't wait to hear about your experiences with it. I cannot wait to hear your experiences with it. Please share with me too. And um, please leave a review on Amazon if you would. Uh, all those who have um, purchased from me or Amazon, either way. You, if you have an Amazon account, please leave a review for me for any of the books that I've published. Uh, it helps others find the books um, easier if it you have reviews there. So it's the algorithm thing in there, so. Yes, Cynthia, thank you for being here, yeah. You are welcome, Renee. Yes, I completely see the mushroom shape as being a security blanket for you, holding you, being there for you, making sure that you're secure in every step of the way. That's what I see. So, yeah. Blocking you from what needs to be blocked, in other words. Yeah. Yes, Renee, please watch later. Yes, yes, yes. You're welcome, Tammy. Thank you. Oh, I saw pink a lot. Yes, Cindy. Pink is, to me, um, I see pink as very... <clears throat> I feel like Mother Mary carries the pink ray. So I feel that is just a very pure color. Walk with that light, that color. If that was part of your vision today, hold that in your heart. Pink is very loving, associated with very deeply loving, right? Love and kindness, compassion. Um, so hold that. Maybe that's part of what you need right now for your manifestation. We all are very different. We all respond differently. We all grow differently. We all react differently and sometimes we see things differently we can both look at the same thing but we see things differently but we all need different things in our lives and sometimes these little things that are symbolic um, can add to your journey in such a way if you if you think about it everything in our waking hour our waking day our conscious life is symbolic in some way or another if you take the time to Think about it, how it relates to your journey, your life in some way. So pull apart the pieces. Think about the colors, the structures, the sounds, the, you know, the many layers that are around us. That's a whole other chat in itself, I think. That would be a good chat, don't you think? I don't know. I think that would be a good talk. The many layers of symbolic things that are right in front of our very eyes. And our eyes are clouded with thoughts, with stress, with day-to-day -day activities. If you stop and look around you, you can really, really, really see amazing things happening. But sometimes, so many times we're consumed with day-to-day -day things or things that happen that throw us off balance. So. Um, yeah, there's a lot of symbolism in there. Yeah, a lot of symbolism. 
Lilac tree. Oh, sounds beautiful. Mm. Yes, and if you might have noticed a scent too, I didn't even think about that. That's a great uh, component as well. Maybe you heard some things with your tree, a little rustling of the leaves. Maybe you smelled the flowers of your tree if you, or smelled the fruit if you had fruit or flowers on your tree. That's another thing to just take in with that beautiful experience. So, yeah. Cindy, you saw pink also? Mm. I love that, Susie. You're, you always ask your tree to provide fruit for you. You share, share with your friends, neighbor, and everyone. And that's so beautiful. That's such a beautiful gesture because you are expanding that energy of giving. And giving and receiving is a continual cycle. If you give, you will receive. So that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love that. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Oh, beautiful, Renee. I love that. Your mom helped you pick your tree. Oh, my goodness. I just, that just makes me so happy. <laughs> yes, Mary, you can use a little chakra tree in the center of your grid. Absolutely. I am very big believer on using what you are guided to use. This is a guide, but use your intuition. And I talk about that in here too. Use your intuition first and foremost, always when selecting crystals to use, to work with your own self healing, your manifestation, whatever it is that you're trying to uh, achieve or do. Because, um, you know, all these crystals can help with certain things, but if something deep down is telling you, use something, use it, because there's a reason for it. So listen to that. Always listen to that. And always listen to your intuition anyway, regardless. So, yes, Cindy, sure. Yeah. Hi, Aisha. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, that's beautiful, Cynthia. You've planted your tree in the park for everyone to enjoy. Oh, my gosh. Ah. Oh. And Renee, you smell the soil planting your tree. Good. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me for this beautiful exercise. Again, please share this video with others who can find our community, who can join our, our manifestation meditations, who can join our other meditations, who can join our crystal community, who can join and learn and be part of our community that we have just grown into an amazing, amazing community. And um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I do have some chats uh, I was going to do a different chat today, but this one seemed to pop out to be needed today. And the new moon helps with that. So um, next week I will do the other chat that I was thinking of. And um, check out the book, Amazon. And please leave a review. I do appreciate that. Um, and I hope to see you all soon. Tomorrow, let me see what's coming up. Tomorrow, thank you, Cynthia, for sharing. I do appreciate for uh, you for sharing that. Thank you so much. Tomorrow, um, I might do a bracelet sale tomorrow because it has to be separate, but Thursday for sure, 11 a.m. Pacific time is my crystal sale day on Halloween. <laughs> I will have a, tr a treat for you all. Um, so uh, all those of you who who uh, join in will, will learn a little bit about that tree, or the, the tree, the, the little treat. Uh, I have planned uh, for for Halloween. So, all right. I hope to see you all soon. Next week we will resume with a more of a spiritual chat, the one that I was I was thinking of doing today. And I think actually I will plan a spiritual chat on the symbolic stuff I was just mentioning. What do you think? Would that be good too? Um, symbolism in our conscious life. Symbolism of things that we see every day. What are your thoughts on that? I think I'll do, I'll design a chat on that one too. So thank you for joining me. May all of your wishes came, come true. Peace, love, and light to you always and infinite blessings to each and every one of you. Thank you for being here and I will see you very soon. All right, have a blessed day.